This is a video on anime compositing in Toon Boom Harmony. So we're going to go from this, which is the original artwork, to this, which just feels a lot more natural. So let's get started. The one thing I would note is that this will be easier to replicate in Harmony 22. Now this is because they overhauled the blending node inside of Harmony 22 to have entirely different options. Now these now match Adobe Suite applications. However, if you're running an older version of Harmony, these will be different. So you'll have to have a bit of a play around. So I have a group which is called compositing. So let's go into that. So to begin, we slightly reduce the saturation by minus 10. Then we add a box blur and that's only a radius of 0.1. This just makes it so the lines aren't so sharp. It makes it feel a bit more natural. This is at 4K, so that value might have to change if you're at a different resolution. Then we're applying a color dodge. So you see this change here. If we go into here, so first we're applying color curves, which look like this. Then we're blurring it. Then we're using a blending mode node to make it color dodge which you see brightens up the image. And finally, we're setting the transparency to about 82. And you see it just slightly brightens up the image if I disable and enable that. Slightly brightens up the image, makes it have some kind of bloom. Then we're adding a darken effect onto it, which slightly makes it so each of the lines here, you can see it slightly smudges the lines again. So if we go into darken, we're applying a blur then we're setting the blending mode to darken. And finally, we're setting the transparency to 50. Next up, we're adding a color burn. Again, we're doing Gaussian blur, this time 2.5. We're adding a blending mode as color burn. And finally, we're setting the transparency to 95. So we're only doing 5% of that. So it's a very small change. And finally, we're adding hard light. So if we go into here, as usual, Gaussian blur, blending mode, is hard light and transparency is 90%. So we're only having 10% of this active. So already you can see this has made a big difference. So it still feels a bit clinical though. So I add in a grain node. So you have grain here and I've got it set to noise 0.1 and smooth 0.3. So the way this works is you slot it in and then you set the composite also as the mat. So it's applying to the entirety of the image. And you see it just makes it feel a bit more natural. And voila, you have anime compositing. So if you put this entirely within a group, then you can just slot it into whatever animation you have. Now it does take a little bit to process. So this is something that you would add at the end of the animation stage. What we can do from here, I think the easiest thing is to go to your timeline, find the compositing group, go to your library, make sure you have right to modify on your library active and just drag it in. Just call it compositing.tpl. So then all you have to do in the future, once you finish your animation, you just go to your library and go compositing, drag it into your node view, and just hold alt and it slots in. Then after a little bit, it'll finish processing and voila, you've got your anime compositing. This compositing group was inspired by this video here. So I'll leave a card in the top right hand corner and in the description. This is using After Effects. The actual layout is slightly different than what I've set up here, but it uses a lot of the same nodes and it uses a lot of the same effects and such. So there we are, anime compositing in Toon Boom Harmony. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.